welcome back to with sick here some time ago i posted a couple of videos on the time value of money they highlighted the meaning and importance of the concept in the financial context in this video we will go a step further and learn how to calculate the time value of money the link to the previous videos is in the description below and before we proceed further a humble request please subscribe to our channel with sikhya so that you can stay updated with our videos and if you like the video do give it a thumbs up so that youtube may share it with more people all right so let's begin with a quick refresher about what the time value of money is the time value of money or tvm is a financial concept that states that a sum of money today is worth more than the same sum will be in the future due to its potential earning capacity this is because money can earn interest or investment returns over time now to calculate the time value of money we need to understand a few concepts present value future value annuity and perpetuity Let's begin with the present value of money. Present value or PV is a financial concept used to determine the current worth of a future sum of money discounted at a specific interest rate. It represents the value today of a certain amount of money that is to be received or paid in the future. The idea behind present value is based on the principle of the time value of money which states that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future due to its potential earning capacity. In other words, present value calculates what a sum of money to be received in the future is worth in today's dollars. considering the opportunity cost of not having the money to invest or earn interest right away present value is used in various financial calculations such as determining the value of investments evaluating loans and assessing profitability of projects the formula to calculate the present value of a future sum of money is PV is equal to FV divided by one plus R raised to the power of n, where PV is equal to present value, FV is future value, that is the amount of money to be received in the future, R is the interest rate per period, which is expressed as a decimal. n is equal to number of periods that is the time in which the money will be received in the future the formula shows that the present value is inversely proportional to the interest rate and the number of periods as the interest rate or the number of periods increases the present value decreases indicating that the future sum of money is worth less in today's terms Here's an example of how to calculate the PV of a future cash flow. Suppose you expect to receive rupees ten thousand in five years. If the discount rate is five percent, then the PV of this cash flow is equal to rupees ten thousand divided by one plus point zero five raised to the power of five. which is equal to 7839.36 paise this means that rupees 7839 and 36 paise invested today at 5% interest rate would grow to rupees 10000 in 5 years present value calculations are essential in finance as they allow individuals and businesses to make informed decisions about investments loans and other financial transactions by comparing the value of money of different points in time moving on to future value future value or fv is a financial term that represents the value of a sum of money at a specific date in the future
considering a certain interest rate or rate of return. It is the amount to which a current investment or savings will grow over time when earning compound interest. Future value calculations help individuals and businesses estimate the future work of their investments, allowing them to make informed financial decisions. The formula to calculate the future value of an investment or savings account with compound interest is PV multiplied by 1 plus R raised to the power N, where FV is equal to future value, PV is equal to present value, which is the initial amount of money invested or saved. R is equal to the interest rate per period, which is expressed as a decimal, and N is equal to the number of periods, that is the time the money is invested or saved for, usually in years. This formula shows that the future value increases with higher interest rates and a longer investment period. Compound interest allows the initial investment to earn interest not only on the principal amount or the initial investment, but also on the interest that has been previously added to the total. As a result, the future value grows exponentially over time, assuming the interest is compounded regularly. Here is an example of how to calculate the future value of a current investment. Suppose you have rupees 1000 today at an annual interest rate of 5% for 10 years. The future value of your investment would be equal to rupees 1000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the power of 10, which is equal to 1628 and 90 pesi. This means that your rupees 1000 investment will be worth rupees 1628 and 90 paise in 10 years. Understanding the future value of an investment is crucial for setting financial goals, planning for retirement, and evaluating potential returns on investment opportunities. It helps investors assess the impact of interest rates and investment periods on the growth of their money. Calculations of future value can also be used to compare different investment options and determine the most profitable choices. Now comes annuity. An annuity is a series of equal payments made at regular intervals. The present value and future value of an annuity can be calculated using the following formula. So the present value of annuity or PVA is equal to PMT times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R raised to the power N divided by R, where PVA stands for present value of annuity, PMT stands for payment amount per period, R the interest rate per period expressed as a decimal, n number of periods. Now the future value of annuity is calculated as FVA is equal to PMT times 1 plus R raised to the power n minus 1 divided by R, where FVA stands for future value of annuity PMT is payment amount per period, R is interest rate per period expressed as a decimal, N is equal to the number of periods. A perpetuity is an annuity that continues indefinitely. The present value of a perpetuity can be calculated using the following formula. That is, PVP is equal to PMT divided by R, where PVP is the present value of perpetuity, PMT is the payment amount per period, 
R is the interest rate per period expressed as a decimal. Now these formulas provide the basic framework for calculating the time value of money in various financial scenarios. Keep in mind that the calculations can be more complex when dealing with different compounding periods, inflation or varying interest rates over time. Financial calculators and spreadsheet software like Excel also have built-in functions to help with these calculations. So these were the various methods of calculating the time value of money. In summary, the time value of money is a foundational concept in finance that influences a wide range of financial decisions from personal budgeting and investment choices to business strategies and economic policies. Understanding time value of money empowers individuals and organizations to make sound financial choices and plan for a more secure financial future. I hope you gained some information from this video. I would love to know your views in the comments and do share the video with your family and friends if you think they can also learn something from it. Thank you for watching. See you again.